I hear the word overrated tossed around quite a bit in reference to a lot of the YouTube elite. You know, the ones with 10 million or more whose mere status brings them additional recognition. And for this reason, a lot of people feel that their success and all the benefits that come with it are largely unearned or exaggerated at the very least. Oh, I'm serious. Who are you? It's the YouTube equivalent of riding first class on a 1900 steamliner. On the Titanic, the first class passengers got to ride in the upper levels of the ship, were treated to the highest quality living conditions, and basically got sucked off by the crew 24-7. In the current year, it's more than common for larger channels to receive preferential treatment from YouTube itself because the majority of them fit the family-friendly image YouTube tries to maintain. What you say to me, you little shit! And some may argue that this is what enabled these channels' initial success in the first place. And keeping a family-friendly image often comes at the cost of making uncontroversial and unchallenging schlock. Creativity and artistic expression are deprioritized because these channels exist in a system that actively rewards putting on a meaningless smile and watching Try Not To Laugh compilations because that's what the site wants. Contrast that with the less fortunate third class who on YouTube would likely be the ones with a thousand subs or less who typically remain disconnected from this system because they're too small to be considered influential enough and thus are never welcomed into YouTube's own personal circle jerk of success. So, they're forced to share a room with five other people and a bathtub with 700 others. And when the ship inevitably sinks, more members of first class tend to survive it. But on the bright side, the captain always goes down with the ship. Thanks for the info, AmericanHistoryForKids.com. Maybe lose the Comic Sans, but other than that, you're okay in my book. But anyways, I know it's obvious that any platform would tend to extend better treatment to those who have proven to be extremely talented, hardworking, and unique enough to climb their way up to the top and gain a following, but that's the thing. It doesn't. The main reason the top YouTube elite is hated by so many is because preferential treatment is often given only as a means of helping the site look more marketable to advertisers, which indirectly gatekeeps genuinely talented people from reaching this high status due to them not fitting the image YouTube wants to present. So that being said, I thought given the fact that my channel has been doing quite well recently that I could use this newfound attention to spread awareness of a few channels whose content has been deprioritized for those aforementioned reasons. I know I usually stick to parodies and some of these channels are much bigger than I am, but I like their content enough to break character in hopes of showing them off to you guys and funnel some traffic their way. These aren't the most underrated channels in the entire site, but they're the ones whose content I myself enjoy quite a lot, and that in and of itself is why this video exists. And being a smallish channel myself, I can imagine how good it would have felt if another channel had done this for me, even just as a symbolic gesture. But I just want to preface this out by saying I don't want any of you to go subscribe to these channels simply because I'm recommending it. Shoutouts don't mean shit if you don't intend to genuinely watch the content of the person you're subscribing to. More often than not, people will simply subscribe out of loyalty to the person shouting them out, and their subscription will be just a shallow, meaningless addition to a bloated inactive subscriber count of that channel. Bad example in my case, but you get the point. So, if any of the people I mentioned sound appealing, I encourage you to subscribe and watch their videos, but if not, just skip past them and refrain from becoming an empty subscriber. And by the way, I'm excluding personal friends from this given the fact that I don't want to seem like I'm giving preferential treatment to anyone. That being said, let's kick things off right now while I still have enough people watching to make a dent on these channel subscriber counts. Number one, Conniptuous. Now I'm just gonna go right out and say that I'm already breaking my own rule of excluding friends from this, but given the circumstances, I think it's worth making an exception for. Conniptuous is a let's player focusing on the horror genre who, in my opinion, makes extremely well edited videos on par with even the most popular gaming channels out there. Now, my only complaint about his channel is the fact that he's usually exaggerating his emotions and vocal inflections which comes off as a bit annoying to me, but I know it's because he's aiming for a younger audience and it doesn't help that I just don't like let's plays in general. But that being said, even as a guy who doesn't enjoy the genre, I still can't deny that Conniptuous videos are extremely polished and well put together. So, for all those of you who do enjoy let's plays, I'd strongly recommend checking him out. Now, as for the reason I'm breaking this rule of not shouting out friends, it's because his channel was deleted when he had 2,000 subscribers and he's essentially back to square one with 112 subscribers on his new page at this current time. I never heard why his original channel got deleted, but given the quality of his content and the fact that he specifically told me he's going to be posting actively again for the foreseeable future, I thought this would be the perfect time to give him a little bit of exposure to help him back up again. I'll leave the links to his channel and Twitter in the description for you to check out if you're interested, and I'll do the same with every channel I discuss for the rest of this video. No Number 2. Master Eth. Master Eth is an analysis channel who I stumbled across through his Tally Hall video. He makes videos about a variety of topics in a review-like manner with snappy editing and writing to match. One series in particular that I would recommend is his Gems of the Internet, where he discusses niche yet interesting topics or subjects in a documentary style for the sake of introducing them to new audiences. The Tally Hall video I found him through was one of these episodes and it was quite thorough and presented well. And it's also worth noting that he has several other channels and is also an editor for hire, so there's plenty of options in supporting him if his core content isn't for you. He's a pretty PG channel though, so I'm not sure how he's gonna feel about someone such as myself dumping a group of edgelords on his doorstep, but all I know is I'm sure curious to find out. I've never interacted with the guy before and he probably doesn't even know I exist, so maybe just comment something retarded like, 
jargon raid in his comments or something, I don't know. I'll put a link to one of his videos right under the link to his channel if you want to actually go there and do it. But first, let's fucking move on. Number three. Fire Sale. Fire Sale is a hard channel to explain, but he makes very meme gaming videos, with the best of which, in my opinion, being Demonetized 1 and 2. I'll be the first to admit, these Machinima-esque GTA videos aren't for everyone, but I've always had a soft spot for this type of stuff, and given the fact that his in particular are extremely well polished for a channel his size, I would definitely give them a watch if you're into that. Okay, whoops, never mind. I just asked him, and they're unlisted and in a playlist on his channel. I'll just link that below, too. Number four, Joe Samuels. Go watch this channel yourself. All I'm gonna say about it is, praise Joe Samuels. Number five, JMP. JMP is a commentary channel like Ellis Mark or Turkey Tom and makes extremely well-crafted videos even in comparison to channels with hundreds of thousands of subs. He's only released eight so far, but they've all been up to snuff in every aspect, and if you're interested in actual unironic commentary, this channel's for you. Number six, Internet Unwind. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. This channel is also commentary related, but is more reminiscent of channels like I'm Alex or Pyrocynical by using face cam footage rather than an avatar approach like Mark or Tom. I watched his Matt's What It Is video a while back and was shocked to see that he only had 500 subscribers given the quality of the video itself. It was well spoken, well edited, and covered the topic in great detail, making this channel deserving of so much more in my opinion. Number seven, Bob Show. Bob Show is a movie reviewer with a particular emphasis on animation. I'll admit his videos are fairly standard in terms of overall quality and presentation, but each clearly has a lot of effort put in given the constantly changing layout of his setup and the heavy use of costumes. A more notable aspect about his channel, however, is that he's uploaded actively for seven years now and has remained fairly unnoticed to the general public, only gaining 37,000 subscribers. Most channels are given promotion incrementally as they grow, but Bob's videos rarely leave his core audience, which restricts his channel growth and limits his ability to allocate funds to improve production quality. This has incentivized his core fan base to become extremely dedicated, which shows in his Patreon. I myself would love to see Bob finally be able to do YouTube full-time given his dedication, so consider this my contribution. Number eight, James Lee. This one is almost impossible to explain. Nothing I could ever say or do would give it justice, so just watch a bit for yourself. Oh, Marky, Marky, Mark, Mark. It's been a while, hasn't it? Everyone else might have forgotten what you did, but I don't forget so easily. Mark. I think it's time I gave you a little piece of my mind. I love this shit. Every frame of every video is a work of art in the most literal sense. The editing is orgasmic, the style is fleshed out and unique, the presentation is snappy and original, and fuck me, these videos are just so good. This channel is what happens when the ruthless algorithm encounters spillover from Newgrounds. In a similar vein as Max G, James Lee was, and still to this day, is an animator whose content was forced to adapt to the changing internet landscape. And like Max G, being backed into a corner by the need for semi-consistent uploads forced him to reapply his skills into something new, which results in less than conventional commentaries utilizing his animation skills. And on a personal note, James Lee's editing is a goalpost of sorts for me, since I myself dream of one day being as skilled as he is. Granted, he might not be doing these videos single-handedly, but even so, I wish I myself had the ability to create videos of a similar quality. Dare to dream. Which could be part of the reason I love his channel so much. So that being said, how could I not try to spread his channel around to as many people as possible? Some of you might know that PewDiePie himself shouted out James Lee back in December, and anything I say or do would obviously just be a drop in the bucket, but... Nah, yeah, well. <laughs> Number 9, Lord Vega. Now, just when you thought that James Lee would be the channel whose quality was as disproportionately high as possible relative to his subscriber count, let me introduce to you Lord Vega. There's this guy who, um, who has, he has about... I think 45,000 subscribers, and he has posted like five videos that are like movie quality. Like I'm talking like, uh, his name is Lord Vega, by the way. I don't know. Um, he. I've heard the name like, actually, but I don't remember yeah. where. His channel has a lot of parallels to James Lee in that they both encompass animated and live action segments to an exceedingly high standard of quality, but Vega's channel is a quarter of the size with even lower view count ratios. Now, the reason being, his channel has only uploaded five videos in this style, the first four being pilot episodes to four commentary-based series, which indirectly address topics in a parody manner, much like James Lee. There's a new epidemic plaguing Americans throughout the country. What the fuck else is new? Alright, I'm listening. Every media outlet and social platform has been releasing footage on the new threat. But there's a problem. That a motherfucking clown. Fucking clown.
The videos prior to this, however, were podcast entries, which in combination with his limited uploads and his new style makes it apparent as to why his new videos haven't gotten traction yet. His original subscribers have gone inactive from the change, and due to his limited uploads, the algorithm hasn't gotten a chance to promote anything yet. And since these videos are so time-consuming to make, odds are that if things keep up this way, he'll go unnoticed for a long time, which is honestly unfortunate. I also aspire to edit in a manner that's on par with Vegas content, but sadly, given the way YouTube works, it's a lot easier to grow popular by uploading low-quality content in mass, rather than pursue the quality over quantity approach, which is why most YouTubers can only afford to improve at the cost of upload speed once they're already popular. Since Vega's content is already like this, however, he'll have to upload for a long time to reach the same status even though his content is already beyond most of the channels out there. So, I guess the only thing I can do personally is try to make him known to anyone I can to do my part in helping him bypass the slow climb as much as possible. Number 10, All Hail Chancellor Susan. This channel is a bit difficult to explain, it's mostly just podcasts with a few edited review-like content every once in a while, but I'll admit I like it quite a bit. It has over 50,000 subscribers at the time of recording this, and I'd recommend it to all of you, but I think this one in particular is strange enough to warrant its own review. Wink, wink. I love it. Keep doing it. Keep it up. Keep it up, bro. You're the best. Gentlemen, it has been a privilege playing with you tonight. 